Good morning, friends. A warm welcome to all of you in new session of Digital Gurukul. Today, I am going to discuss about the Miller indices. In material science, chemistry, or even in electronics, Miller indices is very important. And in various competitive examinations like CAT, PSC, and PSU examinations, Miller indices is very important. And at least one question is coming in the most of the examination. And uh, most of the students have confusion about the Miller indices. So in this video, I am going to discuss about what is Miller indices and how to find Miller indices, and along with various questions asked in ESE, GATE, and PSU examinations. So let's start about the Miller indices. So before we start Miller indices, let's first discuss about the definition of Miller indices. Miller indices are used to specify the direction and planes. It's always used to specify the different direction and planes. And the direction and the planes can be lattice or crystal. Different lattice or crystal. The number of the indices will match with the dimension of the lattice or the crystal. That is, in one dimensional, there will be one index, and in two dimensional, there will be The number of indices will match with the dimension of the lattice of the crystal. That is, if it is in one dimensional, then will be one index, and if it is a two dimensional, then there will be two indices. Similarly, if it is three dimensional, then there will be three. Okay. Now, it's a very important. Now notation is very important in Miller indices. It's very important to know the notation of the Miller indices to represent it. In this notation, the round bracket or parenthesis represent a point. Note the comma. Comma in this parenthesis under this parenthesis is very important. In most of the cases in Miller indices, it's expressed as Parenthesis under parenthesis or small bracket or round bracket H, K, and L, where there is no comma in between them to express the Miller indices. And the negative numbers or directions are denoted with a bar on top of the numbers. Let's see that this is the negative direction is minus 2 and of x axis or z axis. See here it's an x axis and it's a y axis and negative direction is minus 2 y axis and x axis is 4. So in negative direction 4 minus 2. So in Miller indices it's written as 4 2 over bar. Bar indicates the negative direction. Different kind of brackets have different specific meanings. So it's very important to know about the brackets. So Round bracket or parenthesis represent a plane. Next one, that's a square bracket represent a direction. And that's angle bracket. As you see, that's angle bracket represent a family of the direction. Next, as you see, the curly bracket or braces represent a family of directions. And the property of the Miller indices are Miller indices equally spaced parallel planes are same. Next, Miller indices of a plane passing through the origin, not it, passing through the origin is shown by Miller indices of a plane parallel to it. Next one is if two planes are perpendicular to each other, that then H1 S2 plus K1 K2 plus that's L1, L2 equal to 0 if it is perpendicular to each other. Then, next, parallel planes have low index number are widely separated to each other than this having high index number. And it's note that all members of the family of the planes or direction are not necessarily to be parallel to each other. Now, goes to the procedure how to find Miller indices. It's very important to know the procedure of finding Miller indices. So, 
For finding Miller indices, we first have to draw a simple unit cubic set. And as you see, it's a right-handed coordinate system. And in right-handed coordinate system, as we know that if we take cross product of any two coordinate, that's x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate if you take cross product of any two coordinate then we will get the third coordinate that suppose the cross product of x into y equal to z coordinate and cross product of y into z equal to x coordinate similarly now for finding miller indices it's very important to draw unit cubic structure and as you know that unit cube is a cube whose each side is of unit length each side is of unit length in any unit dimension let's example take one example that's in coordinate x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate that's under parenthesis that's coordinate is 1 0 and 0 so the procedure to find out the miller indices is first step you have to follow is first identify the plane intercept on the x y and z axis first identify the plane intercept in which plane or identify suppose identify in which plane its first x axis y axis and z axis the next step is to specify the intercept in a fractional coordinate you have to specify it in fractional coordinate and next step is to take the reciprocal of the fractional intercept and after that we will get the middle indices. Let's take one example to clarify your doubt. Suppose this structure, this cubic structure is there and the x-axis gets cast at 1, 0, 0 and y-axis it's infinity, z-axis it's cast at infinity. So let's talk about the intercept in x-axis as you see at x axis it cuts about 1 so in x axis equal to 1 intercept and y axis as you see in y axis it's a parallel to y axis it doesn't cut in y axis so y axis its intercept is infinity and similarly in z axis its intercept is in infinity as you see now next step what you have to follow is take the reciprocal of the intercept and this is intercept and take reciprocal 1 by 1 1 by infinity and next z axis is 1 by infinity so reciprocal of x intercept is 1 by 1 equal to 1 similarly the reciprocal of y intercept is 1 by infinity equal to 0 and the reciprocal of z intercept is 1 by infinity equal to 0 no doubt in it and next step you have to find out the miller indices and as i told you that miller indices is under the parenthesis of h k and l as x represents the reciprocal of x axis intercept well, K represents the reciprocal of Y axis intercept and L represents the reciprocal of Z axis intercept. So, the Miller indices H, K, L equal to under parenthesis 1, 0, 0 and as you read it, 1, 0, 0, not 100. Okay. Now, take one more example. Here is an example. It's coming in the gate examination. The 0, its coordinate is and x axis is it's a x axis okay it's a x axis it's a y axis and it's a z axis and x axis it starts in 1 by 3rd 0 0 and y axis it starts in 0 2 by 3rd 0 and in z axis it starts in 0 0 and 1 you have to find the miller indices of this lattice structure so first step as i told you have to find out the intercept as you see in x axis it starts in 1 by 3rd in y axis it starts in 2 by 3rd and in z axis it starts in 1 so intercept is 1 by 3rd 2 by 3rd and 1 next step what we have to follow is find the reciprocal of the intercept and as you see 1 by 3rd reciprocal 1 by 1 by 3rd y, y axis reciprocal 1 by 2 by 3rd and z axis reciprocal is 1 by 1 so the result is x axis reciprocal is 3rd 3 and y axis reciprocal is 3 by 2 and z axis reciprocal is 1 and so you know that the final step is to find out the miller indices and the miller indices is nothing but the reciprocal of that intercept it's as you know that under parenthesis 3 3 by 2 and 1 but one thing as doubt is that 
you know that but miller indices must be in an integer not in a fraction form 3 by 2 is in fraction form so what you have to do is multiply the whole thing with 2 as you get hkl equal to multiply multiply then 3 into 2 equal to 6 3 into 3 by 2 equal to 3 and 1 into 2 is 2 and as you get result 6 3 2 is the final answer of the miller indices i hope you clear that out the next important question is let's see this example then x axis y axis and z axis and discussed in y axis is 0 1 and 0 so follow the first step let's find the intercept as you see that x axis is parallel to x axis so its intercept is infinity and in y axis it's got to 1 so so its intercept is 1 and in z axis also it's parallel to z axis so its intercept is infinity the x axis parallel z axis parallel and y axis cuts at 1 so in x axis its intercept is infinity because it's a parallel to x axis and y axis its inter intercept is 1 because cut at 1 and then z axis intercept is infinity so see the intercept is x axis infinity y axis 1 and z axis infinity next step what you have to follow as i told you to find out the reciprocal so reciprocal is 1 by infinity equal to 0 next one is 1 by 1 it's 1 and third one is 1 by infinity again it's in 0 so it's clear that miller indices is under parenthesis hkl is 0 1 and 0 that's the final answer the next important topic is the family of direction in most of the examination it's asked about the family of the direction and most of the students are confused about it so i say the first talk about the definition of the family of the direction it's nothing but it's a set of direction related by the symmetry operation of the vertex. Okay, it's a set. It's a set of directions. Okay, nothing. As I clear you, as you see that under the angle bracket one zero zero, member of the family called cubic lattice is one zero zero. It's a under bar means negative direction one zero 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 bar 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 bar it's all under the family of 1 0 and 0 similarly for under angle bracket 1 1 0 you see the family is this and under the angle bracket 1 1 1 this is the family i hope clear and next important thing is the importance of miller indices in material science, it's important to have a notation system for an atomic plane since these planes are influenced. And it's important to find out the optical properties, to find out the reactivities, and to surface tension and to dislocation to find. It's very important to know about the Miller indices. And the uses of Miller indices are Miller indices are used to find out the interplane spacing. And uh, interplane spacing questions are also coming in the examination. So formula of the interplane spacing, B spacing equal to A upon root under, it's a whole root under, it's a whole root under H square plus K square plus L square, where A is the side of the cube, where HKL represents the Miller indices. Let's take one example to clarify your doubt. If you have a crystal structure, so the question is that if you have a crystal structure whose side of the cube is a equal to 0 0.361 nanometer and plane is equal to 200 under parenthesis then find the spacing the spacing sorry find the spacing then you know that d spacing d spacing equal to a upon root under whole root under h square plus k square plus l square and d spacing is spacing equal to as you know a equal to 0 0.361 so put a equal to 0 0.361 and l equal to this l h k l h is 2 k is 0 and l is 0 so sorry that's a mistake is there Let's put, okay then h is 2 okay k is 2 and l is 2 so h square plus k square plus l square then h 2 square plus 2 square plus 0 square l is 0 l is 0 okay then by solving you will get 0 0.128 nanometer 
Now, if more is the important questions asked in the previous ES examinations. So, the question is that the set of the Miller indices of the plane shown in the given figure is this is the question, and you have to find out the Miller indices. And this question is asked in IS 1999. Okay, so you have to find out the Miller indices. So, as you see in that that in that Miller indices intercept of x y z is axis r in the x axis as you see that's a intercept is negative direction minus one and in the y direction that is parallel to y so y direction its intercept is infinity and z axis also its intercept is infinity so its in, uh, intercept as you see that's minus one infinity and infinity and take the reciprocal of minus one infinity and infinity as you see that's axis are minus 1, infinity and infinity and the reciprocal is 1, 0 and 0 and this is nothing but as you know that Miller indices. So our answer is 1, 0 and 0. See, answer is 1, 0 and 0, answer is 1, 0 and 0 or similar we print Sorry for that. Okay, so right answer is 1, 0, and 0. Okay, next question is it's in IS 1999. It's questions. Okay, an unit cell of crystal is shown in the given figure and Miller indices of the direction arrow shown in this figure. You have to find the Miller indices. Okay, and as you know, that x axis intercept is as you find out the x axis intercept is 1 by 2 and y axis intercept is 1 and z axis intercept is infinity and by reciprocating it you get it 2 1 and 0 so our answer is 2 1 and 0 answer is same okay and this question is asked in years 2010 and i hope you cleared your doubt so it's your assignment to solve this problem and write it in comment box so friends, if you like my video, please like it and subscribe it and share it as much as possible. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe.